Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. A lot of the language we're going to be using in this lesson is to do with the world of work, but because there are so many structures involved, it obviously expands out for all types of conversation. Okay, let's begin with some verb phrases. So we're going to have servir la comida. Servir la comida. To serve the food. Servir la comida. Vender Productos. Vender productos. Vender is to sell. To sell products. To sell things. Vender. If you think about it, vending machine has uh, the same root as vender to sell. So vender productos to sell products. Hablar por teléfono. Hablar por teléfono. Hablar to speak or to talk, to speak on the phone. Hablar por teléfono. And finally, ayudar a los clientes. Ayudar a los clientes. So, to help customers. Literally, it's to help to the customers. But we would just say to help customers. Ayudar a los clientes. If it was to help my parents, ayudar a mis padres. If it was to help people, ayudar a la gente. Okay, let's mix things up a little bit. How would you say to sell food? To sell food. Vender comida. Vender comida. So we've just taken comida from the other phrase, which is servir la comida, to serve the food, and vender comida, to sell food. How would we say to help on the phone, to help on the phone? Ayudar por teléfono. Ayudar por teléfono, to help on the phone, to help by phone. Okay, let's add a bit more. Tengo que, tengo que is I, well, tengo is I have, so tengo que is I have to. Tengo que, I have to, I must. Tengo que. Me gusta, I like. Me gusta, I like. So how would we say, I have to speak on the phone in my job, for example. Tengo que hablar por teléfono. Tengo que hablar por teléfono. And make sure you pause the video to give yourself some thinking time before answering, or before my answer comes up. How would we say, I like to help customers? Me gusta ayudar a los clientes. Me gusta ayudar a los clientes. And of course, if you want to say, I don't like, we just put no at the beginning. No me gusta. No me gusta. How would we say, I don't like speaking on the phone? No me gusta hablar por teléfono. No me gusta hablar por teléfono. How would we say, I have to sell products. Tengo que vender productos. Tengo que vender productos. Okay, and now let's have a look at some extra vocabulary which we're going to need. And we'll see which, which words we can guess, which words we can work out here. Okay, so soy sociable. Soy sociable. Soy is I'm. So, soy sociable. What would that be? I'm sociable. I'm sociable. Mi jefe. Mi jefe is my boss. Mi jefe. My boss. And we could say, Mi jefe es sociable. What would that be? My boss is sociable. How do you think we'd say my boss isn't sociable? Mi jefe no es sociable. 
mi jefe no es sociable. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course, available for download from prospanish.co.uk. Uh, that's exclusively available there. And this course takes the beginner or near beginner right up to conversational Spanish in a series of easy to follow steps. Okay, so back to the lesson now. And a job is un trabajo, un trabajo, a job, un trabajo. And we can say that this job, un trabajo, we could say my job, mi trabajo, mi trabajo. We've got mi jefe, my boss, and mi trabajo, my job. And both of them can be, well, let's say we're talking about the job, mi trabajo es estresante. Mi trabajo es estresante. What do you think that is? My job is stressful. My job is stressful. Mi trabajo es estresante. Okay, so now we're going to listen to four people speaking about their work, their jobs. And we're going to listen out for the following information. So, what is it they have to do? Do you remember I have to? Tengo que. Do they like it or not? And why? Why not? Now, the first time you listen, you need to listen and follow the transcript. If you're able to, it's really beneficial to read out aloud as you're listening because it gets you in sync with the pronunciation, the rhythm of the speaker. Uh, if you're not alone, then obviously that's fine. You just follow it in your head. And then the second time, it will be without the transcript. And this time, you listen out for the information that we're trying to get. Okay, so now listen and read the transcript and then listen again for the information. Uno. Tengo que servir comida en el restaurante. No me gusta porque es muy monótono. Tengo que servir comida en el restaurante. No me gusta porque es muy monótono. Okay, so the information we should have got is that the things that they have to do is to serve food in the restaurant. And they don't like it because it's monotonous. Okay, now I'm just going to ask some language questions about what you heard. If you can, then don't look at the transcript on the screen. But of course, if you need to, just to remember what was said or because you didn't catch it all, then that's fine. Okay, so how did they say because it's monotonous? Because it's monotonous. ¿Por qué es monótono? ¿Por qué es monótono? How would you say it's not monotonous? No es monótono. No es monótono. And see if you can remember, without looking now, how to say, I have to serve food in the restaurant. Tengo que servir comida en el restaurante. Tengo que servir comida en el restaurante. Okay, now on to the second speaker. Do the same. First time round, read along aloud if you can. If you can't, obviously in your head. And then second time, listen out for the information. Dos. Tengo que vender productos en la tienda, camisetas, zapatos, etc. Me gusta porque soy sociable, pero mi jefe es muy severo. Tengo que vender productos en la tienda, camisetas, zapatos, etc. Me gusta porque soy sociable. Pero mi jefe es muy severo. Okay, so the information we should have got is that they have to sell products and they like it because they're sociable, 
but there's an issue with the boss. Mi jefe es severo. Mi jefe es severo. So severo looks a little bit like severe. So we could say my boss is severe or my boss is strict. How would you say my boss isn't strict? Mi jefe no es severo. Mi jefe no es severo. How would we say my teacher is strict? Mi profesor es severo. Mi profesor es severo. And what is the phrase for in the shop? In the shop. En la tienda. En la tienda. So how would you say, I have to sell products in the shop? And do it without looking if you can. If not, then pick it from the transcript. Tengo que vender productos en la tienda. Tengo que vender productos en la tienda. T-shirts, camisetas, and shoes, zapatos. Okay, on to three. Same again, same process. Tres. Tengo que hablar por teléfono y ayudar a los clientes en la recepción de un hotel. Los clientes son horrorosos. Por eso mi trabajo es muy estresante. Tengo que hablar por teléfono y ayudar a los clientes en la recepción de un hotel. Los clientes son horrorosos. Por eso mi trabajo es muy estresante. Okay, so the duties are they have to speak on the phone and help customers and they don't really like it because the customers are awful son horrorosos son horrorosos they're awful the customers are awful and the job is stressful es estresante okay so what's the phrase for in the reception of a hotel. En la recepción de un hotel. En la recepción de un hotel. So what's the whole phrase? And if you can, without looking. To help customers in the reception of a hotel. What would that be? Ayudar a los clientes en la recepción de un hotel. And we saw that los clientes son horrorosos. The clients are awful. Can you see in the last sentence the phrase which means which is why? Which is why or and for this, for this reason. Por eso. Por eso. So which is why or literally means because of that. Por eso, because of that. So how would you say, and try not to look, which is why, or because of that, my job is stressful. Por eso, mi trabajo es estresante. Por eso, mi trabajo es estresante. Okay, let's go on to the final one. Cuatro. Tengo que ayudar a los animales en una clínica. Creo que es interesante y bastante fácil. Tengo que ayudar a los animales en una clínica. Creo que es interesante y bastante fácil. They have to help animals in a clinic. And they like it, it's interesting and easy. In the last sentence, can you see the phrase that means I think it's, I think it's. Creo que es, creo que es, I think that it's. And how about quite easy? What's the phrase that's quite easy? 
bastante fácil. Bastante fácil. So how would you say, I think it's quite easy. Creo que es bastante fácil. Creo que es bastante fácil. And as mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.